Bonjour. Welcome back to the channel. I would like to show you some things that have been happening in the community recently. And I feel like I should apologize because I've been slacking on this channel with sharing some new people that have entered the community space. Usually I like giving some exposure to smaller YouTubers and other content creators. Well, first of all, good friend of mine, Ben, otherwise known as BBBN19, username subject to change, has created their own YouTube channel finally after months and months of prodding and pestering. But the content is really, really good. And he's passed a 1000 sub mark. Look, he's almost on 2K here. Definitely worth signing up for this channel because it's a lot of really cool geometry nodes content. Ben is just a remarkable user of Blender. He's done so much cool stuff with the shader nodes and now geometry nodes. He's got such a large following on Twitter, really cool content. So I'm just happy that he's finally making YouTube stuff. So I definitely recommend taking a look. And another thing as well is that if you wanted to get into geometry nodes, I've already done one video about it, but the best source you can follow for getting into geometry nodes if you haven't tried it already is Arendelle. So let's take a look here on his channel. The series in particular I want you to have a look at is the Geometry Nodes 101. So these videos here, what are fields, capturing attributes, transferring attributes, Raycast, vertex groups and UVs, and displacement and scattering. These are really good introductions to the concepts of geometry nodes. Recently as well, because Nodevember's been going on, he's been doing live streams, but in particular, I think these videos will be very helpful for people that want to give it a try. And of course, take a look at my recent tutorial on geometry nodes. So I think Ben and Aaron Dale are making some really cool content. Another little YouTube channel recommendation I want to throw in is Blender Grease Monkey. I jumped into one of their live streams somewhat recently, and it was really fun just watching him like learn how to use Blender and GeoNodes. Their content is mostly focused around live streams, but it's just got a really chill vibe to it. So if there's anyone that likes live streams and just likes having a chill place to kind of hang out, then I recommend checking out their channel. I had a nice time there. Okay, so Black Friday is here. Well, technically yesterday at the time of recording this. Every year I do a Black Friday sale. I run it for one week and it's usually 50% off. That's what it is now. So for one week, you can get 50% off all of my paid products on Gumroad, but it only applies to products that are above $1 in price to start with. All you need to do is use the code Black Friday at checkout. Alternatively, if you get the Gumroad link for the product and just type in slash Black Friday after it, then that should automatically apply the discount. So this is the only chance in the year you can get 50% off modular metals and ambient grunge if you haven't picked them up already. And this also applies to all of the art file scenes as well. So if you wanted to take advantage of that, now is the time. But also Grant Abbott's done a nice video breaking down what deals are available. And he also gives a bit of clarity on when you should go for Black Friday deals and when it's not so appropriate. On his video, I think it's quite nice. He talks about hardware, software courses, uh, assets and stuff like that. So maybe if you're looking to take advantage of Black Friday, then I think it would be a good idea checking that out. All right, well, what else has been going on? Well, there's a new add-on, a free one from vd 3 d the uh, creator of the scatter add-on, if you didn't already know, called Noodler. And this is a new one that gives you some extra organization functionality for the shader editor. And I guess by extension, the geometry nodes editor. It says here, Noodler is a handy plugin for all B3D node magicians out there. It features drawing frames. So you can quickly draw frames around nodes. Quickly draw reroutes and create links from input to output sockets in this mode. Select node, then press V to enter nodal state. Then there's also favorites. So you can choose different favorite areas of the node tree, which I think is really cool, especially if you've got a huge map that you need to navigate. Speaking about that, there is also a node minimap add-on that's come out, but I want to investigate that a bit more before I talk about it properly. Anyway, color palette assign. I feel like I'd like this one quite a lot. Assign colors to selected nodes easily from a palette. So you see, you just select all the nodes you have there, choose a color from the palette and boom, very cool. And also the reroute chamfer or bevel, however you want to think about this. So if you love that circuit board look in your nodes, then I think that's a really cool tool. Then also I like this one, downstream slash upstream selection. So if you choose a node, you can choose everything that comes before it and then move that all at once. It saves you from having to click and drag or select things manually and then move them over. Advanced node search and purge unused. So yeah, this is just a really cool free add-on. Who doesn't appreciate free stuff? As you can see, the ratings are pretty good already. So we should thank BD3D for putting this out and especially for making it free. So hopefully some of you will find this useful. So yeah, just making this quick video to let you know that there's some cool stuff going on in the community. So feel free to check that stuff out. I hope it gives you some inspiration and some new things to try. Remember to subscribe and follow me on the unsocial media. Maybe join our Discord server and I don't know, do whatever you want. You have free will. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time.